Atlas is a peculiar bone in that it does not have any body. In this image, we can see that atlas is a circular bone with its ring being divided into five parts for convenience. The anterior one-fifth is formed by the anterior arch. What we see right now is the posterior surface of the anterior arch which has a groove for attachment with the odontoid process of the axis. Immediately posterior and lateral to the anterior arch are two lateral masses. The part colored in blue is the superior articular facet. They are large oval, concave and approach each other in the front but diverge behind. They are directed upward, medially and a little backward, each forming a cup for the corresponding condyles of the occipital bone. Lateral to the lateral mass is a transverse process, which has a vertebral foramen through which the vertebral artery will pass, curve along and posterior to the lateral mass into the vertebral groove on the posterior arch and finally enter the foramen magnum. The posterior arch forms about two-fifths of the circumference of the ring. It gives origin to the recti capitis posterioris minoris and ligamentum nuque. This image shows us the C1 ring from above. We can appreciate that the anterior surface of the anterior arch is convex in shape. In its center is the anterior tubercle for the attachment of the longus coli muscles and the anterior longitudinal ligament. The spinal canal of C1 is very peculiarly shaped due to the lack of the body and the presence of the odontoid process of axis. The anterior narrow part houses the odontoid process. The uneven surface on the medial part of the lateral masses has attachment to the transverse ligament which holds the odontoid in its position. The posterior two-third is for the dural sac along with the spinal cord. Note the orientation of the lateral masses. For getting maximum purchase for the C1 lateral mass screw, many authors have described different orientation of the lateral mass screws. Some describe a straightforward trajectory from the entry point but we get a smaller purchase and there is a risk of injury to the carotid artery which is placed right in front of the lateral masses. Slight medial angulation of the screw if directed towards the anterior tubercle might give a longer purchase and slightly more safety margin.